Having a physical presence uh, in the game of football is very important. With this offense, snapping the ball every 15 seconds, uh, very important to be in shape, uh, but you have to balance, balance that with uh, a line that can handle their business in the trenches. You have to be strong enough to hold, your, hold at the point of attack, right, uh, and push guys off the line of scrimmage, but then also you have to be able to do it repetitively with little time in between each rep. And, and that's, that's, the, that's where the conditioning uh, aspect of it is. The great thing about Coach Duvall, he, he's a guy that's going to spend more time with the players than any of probably of the rest of the coaches. Uh, and he finds a way every single day to bring a tempo and an enthusiasm into that weight room. And that can, that can be hard when it's day in and day out, especially through the dog days of summer, when it's probably the most important time for our guys uh, to be lifting and putting on muscle mass while maintaining athletic ability. Uh, he does it every day with the same attitude. It's the same day with him. Uh, there's going to be an excitement. There's going to be an intensity. Uh, and, and the guys look forward to lifting in that type of environment. Not only is he a good coach, he's a great motivator. He's a, he's a people person. You can sit, talk to him about anything. He's a fatherly figure for this team. So when you hear him talking or screaming, you listen. He makes sure everybody gets everything done. He watches everybody. And he doesn't have any favorites, if, if you will. Like, he makes everybody get stronger. Um, that's what I like about him, and everybody respects him enough, so when he tells you to get back off the sideline or if he's trying to get you pumped for the game, it's easy for you to get pumped just because this is the man you've been working with for the whole summer and spring. I look up to him from a standpoint of he's been around a lot of uh, guys that have done it the right way and guys that know how to do it the right way. So therefore, he's just a reflection of the experiences that he has, that he has had. Uh, and, and the great thing about guys like that is that He'll let you know his experience that he had, but he's never, ever, ever going to try to impose his will on you from a standpoint of, hey, you should do it this way, hey, you should do it that way. He's gonna let you do what you're supposed to do or do what you can do, okay? And then he's gonna say, hey, um, he's gonna give you suggestions, and he's done that for me uh, since we've been here. By far, the, the best part of my job is the relationships. So, um, you know, my background, I've, I've seen it done a couple different ways. Uh, I would say, you know, the relationship side was driven into me uh, by my father. So, you know, working with kids and raising kids, you know, it's, it, the relationship is never about discipline per se. It's always about correction and training them, giving them adequate amount of information and then holding them accountable. You think about what we do in the weight room. You know, that, that, that room is full of stress, right? Ranging from two and a half pounds to 55 pounds. And I have an unlimited amount of it. So we can overload them pretty quickly, you know, and what we ask them to do is above and beyond what they have to do on game day, you know? So there has to be a relationship put in place. So day one, when we got here, instead of, you know, hitting the ground running, we said, no, 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 that's not the right way to do it. We need to get uh, to the bare bones of what went on last year. Sit down, what do you guys think? You tell me what you see, right? Because these athletes know who they are, they know their bodies, uh, and that little bit of feedback is essential in creating a good foothold for what we're gonna build on and express in the future. So if, if there's not a relationship, I say you're not doing it right. They're buying in. They're buying into it. They're buying into the scheme. They're buying into all of it. You look at the numbers. When we first got here in January, they had a certain amount of body fat. By the time that spring ball had began, the number drastically reduced, especially in the offensive and defensive lines. The flip side of that is the strength numbers increased drastically. Definitely when you have the right resources, you are able to predict the future. It's, it's about that easy, you know, because you're able to, um, to monitor these different things. You know, I, I never felt comfortable uh, making everyone do the same program. That, that made no sense to me. Everyone is uniquely made and they, their bodies respond differently. They, they have different uh, heart rates. They have different uh, levels of testosterone and hormones. They sleep different hours. They have different stress loads. So looking at all this technology that we've employed, uh, it, it really reinforces the fact that you better know uh, and see the whole picture before you start changing things up. So 
Uh, our athletes, the, there are six different programs that are going on in one day. Uh, and that's based upon what their bodies are telling me. So, uh, although the old methodology used to be, you know, train hard, you know, go harder, go hard every day. Um, we do go very hard when the body is ready to go very hard. What we're not willing to do is put these athletes in a compromised position where their bodies are not recovered and then put a great huge load on their backs or ask them to run at high velocities where you know injury is right around the corner. You know it, you see it because you're monitoring all these different stresses, but you go hard anyway. Uh, so that, that whole methodology has changed significantly for us and having the right uh, resources here is definitely key to gaining the advantage over uh, everyone else. Now it's just about the execution on Saturdays. You know, take the weight room, take what we do on the football field, take this meeting room, take all of that stuff and let it work for you out there on Saturday. And that's when it really becomes full circle. 